Good day, everyone. So for today, I will be discussing on behalf of my co-researcher, my student, Jesse Mapanao, uh, with our study, which is entitled The Impact of Distance Learning Setup on the Sleeping Habits of Senior High School Students, which is submitted in the DLSU Research Congress 2022 during the dates of July 6 to July 8 in 2022. As you all know, the Philippine education has shifted from uh, traditional face-to-face -face learning to uh, an online distance learning uh, learning modality due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which impacts different uh, lives of individuals, which causes widespread mortality and the inability to do uh, the normal routines that we usually do before the pandemic, which force millions of Filipino students to shift in an online learning setup. Online distance learning, also known as ODL, as you have uh, known, uh, is an online uh, learning modality which, uh, in which students attend class from the comfort of their own homes, which utilizes the internet and various technological devices in order to uh, supplement uh, the type of learning that they will do during the pandemic. Uh, as convenient as it may seem, the sudden shift to ODL is uh, corresponded with different types of issues. According to uh, Walker in 2017, students have been deprived of sleep for hours on end as a result of their constant staring at the computer screen with the average amount of sleep that the students got during the week being as little as four to five hours per night, which was detrimental for the students' welfare. Also, according to uh, Richer in 2015, the use of technology disrupted and altered the body's internal clock of students, which increases the likelihood of drowsiness, anxiety, and depression, which was not good for students' well-being and academic performance in their learning environment, such as less participation in online lectures, uh, short attention span, lack of concentration, and students not attending class at all. Uh, it is uh, supported also by uh, the study of FAM et al. in 2021, which deals with the effectiveness of virtual learning in the student's uh, learning outcome, which uh, shows that there are posing source of concern uh, with uh, the lack of sleep and the type of sleeping habits that our students are experiencing during online distance learning. According to the study, there is an insufficient sleep uh, that is experienced by the students, which have a dangerously severe consequence for students' daily functioning, such as a uh, feeling of fatigue, uh, unmotivation, uh, unmotivated students, unproductive, and the lack of energy to do their work rigorously. This is also stated in the study of Edwards in 2008. Uh, Ming et al. in 2011 also argued that students spent one third of their lives sleeping. As a result, Sleep deprivation contributes to issues such as daytime tiredness and decreased mental alertness, which affects their class performance. Now, the purpose of this study is to understand the experiences of senior high school students on their online distance learning and its impacts on sleep. Specifically, uh, it seeks to answer the following question. So how does the online distance learning setup impacts the sleeping habits of senior high school students? And what are the perceptions of senior high school students on the physical and mental health that they experience during the online distance learning setup? The methods that was used in the study was an exploratory qualitative research design, which uses an open-ended type of questions and was evaluated with the use of thematic analysis. The participants of the study was collected with the use of purposive sampling, which consists of grade 11 to grade 12 students of uh, the senior high school of the Nazareth School of National University. The study was conducted virtually with the use of surgery, so survey questionnaires via Microsoft Forms because of uh, the IATF uh, guidelines. For the procedures of the study, the researchers have given the participants informed consent to signify their participation in the study. Afterwards, uh, a survey questionnaire were sent to their emails in order to gather qualitative data. Afterwards, the researcher 
researchers have used thematic analysis to produce codes, categories, and eventually themes in order to analyze the responses of the respondents. The results of the data analysis with the use of thematic analysis have shown or have resulted into two themes. The first theme that was developed was online distance learning setup causes negative changes in the sleeping routines of senior high school students. In table one, we can see the different uh, codes that was uh, generated in the survey questions. In survey question eight, more specifically, uh, we can see the responses of respondent number 30 and respondent number 47. Now, according to respondent 30, my sleeping habit is it's not consistent. What I mean here is sometimes my sleeping habits, my sleeping time is late and sometimes early. I sometimes do not have any short naps more than before. So which generated a code of inconsistent sleep habits. Respondent 47 also added that before the online learning setup, I started being productive. I used to have healthy routines where I woke up early, did things that I wanted, ate on time, slept on time. And during online learning setup, my sleeping habits, sleep quality, and body clock got a little worse than before. I do not have any routines anymore, which uh, produced a code of lost healthy routines due to ODL. The category of these two codes uh, is the negative changes in sleeping routines. The second theme that was developed was online distance learning setup caused physical deterioration to the senior high school students due to unhealthy sleep schedule. Theme one, which is online distance learning setup, causes negative changes in the sleeping routines of senior high school students. Um, was um, associated with the study of ACMAN in 2021, where blue light emitted from the gadgets inhibit the secretion of melatonin, which widely affects the sleeping, sleeping patterns of students because of hormonal imbalance. Also, according to the study of Wang et al. in 2012, uh, where uh, respondent 59 states that uh, the students spent more time on sedentary activities such as video games and computers due to the transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online learning. Statements of the respondent, the statement of respondent 59 supports the existing theory of Wang et al. in 2012, where students spend more time on sedentary activities such as video games and computers due to the transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online learning. The next theme that was developed was theme two, which is online distance learning setup causes physical deterioration to senior high school students due to unhealthy sleep schedule. According to table two, which is a code from the survey questionnaire for the health problems due to unhealthy sleep schedule category. According to question seven, do you think your sleep schedule is healthy? Why, did you, why did, do you think so? According to respondent 47, no. I don't think my sleep schedule is healthy. I know to myself how late I sleep and sometimes I get sleepy the next day. I also lost some weight due to uh, sleeping late and it sometimes affects my lifestyle. I'm also dehydrated sometimes whenever I sleep way too late. So the code that was generated in that response was weight loss and dehydration. In uh, the response of respondent 15, I am very well aware that my sleep schedule is not healthy. The past few weeks, I've been experiencing moderate to severe headaches more often than I ever experienced in my life. And I guess it has connections with my sleeping schedule because I tried to complete eight hours of sleep and maybe sleep an hour or two after midnight so the headache will go away, which generated a code of experience moderate to severe headaches, uh, which produces a category of health problems due to a healthy sleep schedule. The responses of uh, the students in team two uh, have been reflected in different studies. So we all know during the pandemic, people were discouraged to leave their homes and prevented from participating in any physical uh, activities. So according to 
Hunt and Eisenberg in 2008, as well as Vadim et al. in 2013, a person's physical and mental health may suffer if they have unhealthy relationship with their electronic gadgets, gadgets such as desktop computers, laptops, cell phones, and other similar devices. Also, according to Hedge A et al. in 2018, there's a study that shows an effect on electronic devices on the general health of children of school age, uh, of school age which found that 59% of the youngsters that were part of the study reported that they frequently suffer from headaches due to the electronic devices that they use. In conclusion, the results demonstrate that the online distance learning causes negative effects on the sleep schedules of senior high school students, which influence their physical health. As the online distance learning continues, the respondents' sleeping patterns and body clock worsen. Also, they also experience weight loss and moderate to severe headaches due to the change in their sleeping routines. For uh, the implications and recommendations of the study, the study's findings can lead to an open discussion of the issues of online distance learning in different schools, specifically in Nazareth School National University, which can be a substantial impact, which causes a substantial impact on the sleeping habits of senior high school students. Given the findings, the researchers urge school administration or school administrators to assess and evaluate the institution's current academic timetable during the online distance learning setup. This evaluation should also take into account students' perspective on their online distance learning experience and how it affects their sleeping habits, physical health, and daily routine. That's all for this discussion. On behalf of Josima Panao, I am Lawrence Retone from Dallas University. Thank you for listening.